Okay, I need to define three different things to make sure that you understand what they are. One of them is amplitude. The symbol for amplitude is A, capital A, and the definition of the amplitude is it's the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position. Coming back to the figure we drew, drew before, the amplitude can be represented by that distance, which is the same as that distance. The maximum displacement from the equilibrium position. So at positions one and three, the mass is at its amplitude. We also need to define the period. The symbol for period is a capital T. Notice not lowercase, it is a capital T. And the period is defined as the time for one full cycle. What are the dimensions for the period, please? Andrew. Um, seconds. It can be in seconds, or you will also see it in seconds per cycle. They're actually one and the same. Seconds or seconds per cycle, that is the time for one full cycle. So coming back to the numbers that Connor helped us put on the board, if we start at position one, Meredith, where do we end to get to one full cycle? About two before the next one. So we would end right here. You'd have to go all the way to the one. So notice that for the period, if you start at position one, you have to come all the way back to position one to have one full cycle. So if you start here, you have to come all the way back. So one, two, three, two, one to do one full cycle. What if we start at position three? Where do we end for one full cycle? Head If we start at position three, where do we end for one full cycle? Three. Three. Okay. So notice we end at the next three for one full cycle. So if we start instead at position three, again, you have to go one, or sorry, we'll try it again. Three, two, one, two, three to go through one full cycle. If we start at position two, where do we end for one full cycle? Jess? Um, two. I mean, yeah. No, the next two. Which is why I'm asking the question. Please <coughs> notice, if you start at position two, you actually have to go back through position two and then back to two again. So if instead we start at position two, it's going to go two, one, two, three, two for one full cycle. We also need to define the frequency. Frequency, the symbol is a lowercase f, and the definition of frequency is it's the number of cycles per second, or cycles per second. Cycles per second has a specific name. Who knows the specific name for cycles per second? Sam? It is Hertz, or HZ. So the period is in seconds per cycle. The frequency is in cycles per second. They are inverses of one another. So the period is equal to one over the frequency, and one over the frequency is equal to the period. We have two different equations for the period of various items. 
One, we have the equation for the period of a mass spring system, which is 2 pi times the square root of m over k. This is the period of a mass spring system. And we have the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over G, another box equation, and this is for a pendulum. A couple things. One, realize in this class I simply say these are the equations for the periods of a mass spring system and a pendulum. In AP Physics C, we spend about 30 minutes deriving them. It's a lot more fun, but you need calculus in order to be able to do it. I do want to define L for you. L is the distance from what is called the center of suspension. to the center of mass of the pendulum. So to call it the length of the string is not quite correct. It is the distance from the center of suspension to the center of the pendulum. And I will show you what exactly that means right over here. 